both the farmer and the marketer. The long-term vision for 48 North is certainly to be the trusted brand that people bring home. There is really no Coke or Pepsi yet in our industry, not just in Canada, but out, even out of the US. And you have a few companies like 48 North that are well capitalized, that are profitable, that don't have massive overhead, but have all the recipes to create that consumer brand that will be adored and loved by many. Will 48 North come up with next generation brands and products loved by customers? You can track their progress on the TSX Venture Exchange. Look for their symbol. It's NRTH. Before we wrap up, a few words of advice from this cannabis analyst. You want to take a look at the quality of the management team, their track record, their operational track record, and actually follow up with making sure some of their claims are actually true. The cannabis sector continues to evolve with yet another game-changing development. In December 2018, Congress passed a farm bill that included, with some restrictions, the nationwide legalization of commercial hemp production. Like cannabis, hemp is also a source of CBD, the non-psychoactive ingredient finding more and more health and wellness applications. The legalization will certainly promote more research into CBD, something all the players in the industry welcome. Thanks for joining us today. For BTV, I'm Taylor Tone. And I'm Jessica Katrachak. Until next time, may your portfolio prosper. The opinions you hear on Biz Talk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, Biz Talk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on Biz Talk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or securities. Please consult a professional before investing. If you have any questions about Biz Talk Radio, USA Radio News with Wendy King. Jeffrey Epstein, the multimillionaire who was accused of sexually abusing teenage girls, was found dead this morning. He killed himself last night in his cell in the Manhattan Correctional Center, where he had been held without bail since his arrest early last month on sex trafficking charges. Miami Herald reporter Julie Brown has reported on him for over a decade. Well, I'm pretty surprised. I, you know, that he had tried allegedly tried this before, so you would have thought that they would have been paying pretty close attention to him and had, you know, uh, people really watching him. He should have been on suicide watch as it as it is. So it's kind of surprising. Documents that were released yesterday by a federal appeals court in New York revealed that former New Mexico Governor Phil Richardson former Senator George Mitchell and Britain's Prince Andrew were all clients of Epstein, all of whom deny the accusations. This is USA Radio News. This is Shell Rotella gas truck. This is truck oil. This is hunting, fishing, camping way off the grid oil. This is climbing mountains in the rain, snow, and mud oil. This is hauling the world's greatest tailgate party halfway across the country, oil. This is not top-down cruising to the corner store for cupcakes oil. This is Shell Rotella gas truck, just for your truck and SUV, oil. Find Shell Rotella gas truck at your local Advance Auto Parts today. To thank you for helping build my pillow into the big company that it's become, Mike Lindell, the inventor and his CEO, has created the new radio listener special. Go to MyPillow.com, click on the new radio listener special, use my promo code USA, and you can get deep discounts on the new body pillow, on regular My Pillow, the travel pillow, the Giza Dreams bed sheets, lots of savings there. MyPillow.com, use promo code USA and save on everything on the website. State charges have been filed against a man who set up a panic when he walked into a Springfield, Missouri Walmart dressed in body armor carrying a loaded rifle. Police Lieutenant Mike Lucas tells KSBR. Obviously what's happened in Texas and, and Dayton and all that kind of stuff in the last seven days 
Um, I mean, it got called in as an active shooter call. Police say he told them he was testing to see if Walmart would honor his constitutional right to bear arms. House and Senate Democrats introduced legislation on Tuesday they say will allow victims of gun violence to have their day in court. The Equal Access to Justice for Victims of Gun Violence Act aims to repeal federal protections blocking firearm and ammunition manufacturers, dealers, and trade groups from most civil lawsuits when a firearm is used unlawfully or in a crime. The protections date back to 2005 with the passage of the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. You're listening to USA Radio News. Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Ruth, the conservative warrior. My show, War Now, airs every day right here on USA Radio from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm also the star of the Wayne Allen Ruth Show on Newsmax TV, reaching over 50 million homes. But my favorite role is speaker extraordinaire. I was opening speaker in many Donald Trump for president events. I speak at Republican, conservative, and college GOP events, and I'm available to be the star at your next event. Contact me to arrange for a Wayne Root keynote speech. Call toll-free 888-444-ROOT. That's 888-444-ROOT. Or email waynroot at gmail.com. A very famous bear is turning 75. USA's Chris Barnes has more. One federal official says Smokey Bear ranks right up there behind Santa Claus and Mickey Mouse. Since 1944, Smokey's been seen in parades, on posters, in magazines, and in TV commercials. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. All this year, he's being celebrated at events across the nation. This week, though, marks the actual 75th anniversary of his service, and it's being marked with numerous events all across the nation. Experts say his message remains important as humans cause over 60,000 wildfires each year nationwide. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. A star football player has gotten cold feet. USA Radio Network's Tim Berg has the story. As the NFL preseason continues, we're hearing that Oakland Raiders wide receiver Antonio Brown is suffering from frostbite from a cryotherapy session gone wrong. Cryotherapy is a procedure that involves stepping into a cylindrical metal tube that is chilled to temperatures minus 270 degrees by nitrogen vapor. Kathy Butters is a cryotherapy expert, and she says the procedure does have many health benefits. The main one is pain management and flushing inflammation from your body for recovery, which a lot of elite athletes will do for post-recovery workouts. Butters was speaking there on ABC News. For USA Radio News, I'm Tim Berg. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. Americans are going crazy for a new Italian diet pill that burns three times more fat than dieting alone. And the next 100 callers get three bottles for free. Sold under the brand name Invigorate 3X, this powerful pill triggers metabolic acceleration, a process that's deficient to most Americans, making weight loss a hassle. But a new study shows 30 pounds gone in 90 days with just two capsules a day. Julie B. of Nashville says, I was skeptical, but when I saw a famous doctor made it, I decided to try it. I was shocked. I lost 16 pounds in six weeks. For a limited time, our listeners get three free bottles with a qualifying order. Call 1-800-932-1789 now to get started. Call in the next 10 minutes and also get a free bottle of the Doctor's Ultra Detox. And don't forget your free 14-day diet fix. No obligation and 100% free when you call right now. 800-932-1789. 800-932-1789. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. What the heck are we doing here? It is uh, Saturday morning, I think, if I've got my day straight. I'm Brian Maine. It is six minutes after the hour, no matter where you are in this country. It is uh, Garden America, a Saturday edition. I think we have a Sunday edition, but uh, those would be replays because I'm finding out that various radio stations, Tiger, replay our show on Sunday, and we don't even know about it. How about it, that? I'm sure there's other ones that play it other days of the week, too, and, right? I, I mean, came across, I typed in Garden America. All the time. Typed in Garden America this morning on Google, uh-huh. and, you know, our Facebook page shows up, our YouTube channel. 
a, a station in Seattle showed up. Really? And I'm like, wait a second. Is this the same Garden America? And it, it is. Nice. And, and they play our show from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Wow. In Seattle. On, the, on Saturdays I, or on Sundays? Uh, I think Saturdays. Saturday. Nice. So, well, I guess it would maybe be Sunday morning. Yeah, well, it's all right if it's in Seattle because they don't sleep up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're was, sleepless, right? right? Still sleepless. So for those of you listening in Seattle right now, good morning. Yeah. We are not live. <laughs> we are not live in Seattle. Hey, <laughs> thank you for sleeping. watching us on Facebook Live. We do appreciate that. Questions, comments, uh, post them right there on Facebook. You can also reach us, uh, John, at GardenAmerica.com. If you want to pick up the phone, uh, Brandon will be there to answer the phone, listening intently for your phone calls at 855-424-9825. Streaming live on BizTalk Radio, the first hour of every Garden America show. Heard live in San Diego on AM 1240. We broadcast live from the iHeart Media and Entertainment Studios here in San Diego, John. But you knew that. I did. You know, when you were out of the room, I was telling Tiger I got a belated Father's Day gift from my daughter. Belated. That was uh, that's more than a month ago. Yeah, but where'd you get? I got a T-shirt, and I can't remember the exact wording, but it's something like, "I'm an introvert, but I will discuss plants." <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, so I, you know, it's sad, but that's true. I'm a yeah. You're right. I follow a couple groups on social media that are plant people and things, and they right. do a lot of memes where yeah, it, where it's like. My it shows somebody's face and they're all sad and sulky and it's like me normally and then it's like a happy face and jovial and everything. It's when somebody asks me about plants or like <laughs> different things. It's they're super funny. Did you catch the couple of cartoons I posted? I, this yeah, it, 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 no one, photosynthesis. Yeah, no photosynthesis. And, I saw oh, the he's weed a one. weed. <laughs> yeah, our, our daughter's dating a weed. Yeah, <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, happy uh, weekend to you. Hope you had a good week. We are here for two hours. Got a special podcast happening after the show today, which will yeah. be live on Facebook. And, of course, we will archive that uh, on our Facebook page. Also, uh, YouTube. Everything's on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Garden America Radio. Uh, go to YouTube and uh, subscribe. We've got, uh, we're getting up there, but we need to get to 1,000 subscribers here uh, before the end of the year. That's our goal. Nice. We're at seven now, right? <laughs> we're at 58, actually. <laughs> Seven last time you looked. You looked. <laughs> but yeah, 58. So come on. Subscribe to our YouTube page. We've got to get things what you, rolling. I don't understand the subscribe. What's the whole... Well, you subscribe to it. So that's like a channel would be one of your favorite channels. And uh -huh. so whenever anybody posts anything new on that channel, you'd be notified. You're notified. So oh, so if, if you're, you're a YouTube subscriber, the, the next time we add a new video... You get a notice. You get a notice in your email. And it doesn't yeah. cost you anything. It doesn't nope. cost you anything. We're, we're going to absorb all the costs. Huh. From now on. I'm, you know, I'm going to look into that. Check it out. You know what? You should subscribe. It helps, it helps us. Go to YouTube, right? Go to YouTube, Garden America Radio on YouTube, and subscribe. Do you know, I, I just learned how to get on Facebook without you guys helping me. And you know what? Don't think <laughs> we're not is, proud of you. This is something else i got to look I mean, at. We're very proud of you. If we could pin it up on the refrigerator, we would. We need a little star chart oh, for John. Isn't this nice, <laughs> back John? Here. We're going to put you this up on the refrigerator, too. Hey, I dug this. up uh, roses in Del Mar this week. How did that go? was great. These are rare roses, right? Yeah, they were from France originally. And I would say that probably two-thirds of them, it's the only, the rose I dug up, it's the only one in the country. So we're going to try How does to, that make you feel, huh? It makes me feel special. The brand. whole world <laughs> is, 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 is continually moving on, and you're digging up the only rose in the world. And one of the roses, John Hook. John and Becky Hook from uh, La Roserie du Desert in France. Wow. Were the um, were the people who owned these roses? It's at their son's house in Del Mar. You said de dessert. Is that what you said? Du is, dessert. It, is it dessert like a dessert, tasty like, dessert, no, or like is it desert, desert like the desert? Okay, but sandy desert. dessert is the the area in France that they're from. Okay, mm. so um, he was telling me this one rose, uh, Princess oh, Princess Marie Dagmar. Princess Teresa Dagmar, something like that. I'd, I'd have to look it up. But anyway, the story behind it was he made a trip to Cavrilia in Tuscany to the Fineschi Rose Garden when Professor Fineschi was still alive to get this rose because it was the, uh, supposedly the last one in the world. So he went over there. He, he got cuttings, mm -hmm. went back, started in France, and then brought a, a plant from France back to the U.S. And that's the one that I dug up. But meantime, the one that was at the Fineschi Rose Garden died. 
and has disappeared. So had John not dug up that rose, uh, it would not exist. So that close to extinction. Yeah. So that's, now that's what that's, at John's house in Fallbrook. Right. I think there's another one what, at a uh, you're, you're someone's a house stress. in France. <laughs> what's that? What's that, Tiger? I mean, think about it. You know how many roses John has on his property right now? Well, we started a thousand. Well, no, but I'm not even talking about the quantity. You're talking about the rare roses. Exactly. There are how many? How many roses? It's a lot on of your responsibility. Is you think are just saying. the only ones left on your property right now? Oh, I don't think. I have any where I have the only well, except the well, one the you, one you just dug the up. The one you dug up. Well, he has one in France. So. Okay. Now, does that make that rose worth that much more? I mean, from a monetary <laughs> value, if somebody said this is the only one left in the world, or there's two, how does that work? Depends on whether or not someone else wants it. Yeah, exactly. In other words, it's sought after, right? Yeah. It needs yeah. to be a sought after rose. Yeah. Otherwise, they could say, "I don't care if it's the last one on earth. I don't want it." Yeah. Yeah, it's just like with artwork. You know, paintings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if someone comes up with a Michelangelo and it's the only one, it's going to go for a lot because a lot of people sure. want it. But if somebody comes up comes with a John up with Bagnasco a, original. I was going to say an early Brian Maine painting, <laughs> I mean, what's it worth? <laughs> I think I've got a painting from kindergarten. Yeah. Finger painting, it might be worth something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live, questions, comments. Still trying to get hold of our guest and uh, not answering the phone, but we'll keep trying. That's the latest word. If you see me on my phone, that's how I'm communicating with our director and studio coordinator today because our email is down. Uh, John, you can just get up and uh, whatever you need to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have a good afternoon. Have a good. He, I think he's sneezing out there in the hallway. Anyway, Tiger, we've got uh, 14 minutes after the hour. John's going to have the quote of the week. Uh, he seems to be okay right now. John uh, taking his seat, headphones back on. And that's how we filled time while you were gone. I did well, I, kind of a play-by-play. -play. I have like a, a tickle in my throat. I'm not sure what it's from. Is it is it horse or is it froggy? Um, or just a tickle? Just a tickle. It's there's, making there's, me cough. There's, there's a frog in your throat. There's a horse throat. And, horse throat? You know, when, you, when your voice is horse. Oh, yeah, I think it, it was a horse. Or a frog. I don't know the difference. Anyway, um, did you want the quote of the week? I would love it. So it, do our this, listeners and viewers. Real, real quick, this quote of the week, though, yeah. is kind of anti what we do. <laughs> right right did you think about that when you put that in you know what that's good i like that tiger let's see okay. let's we, see always, we always want to po posing points of view right <laughs> yeah and this quote says see how nature trees flowers grass grows in silence see the stars the moon and the sun how they move in silence we need silence to be able to touch souls and that was from mother Teresa. <laughs> And you were putting the bad mouth on Mother Teresa? I'm not putting the bad mouth on <laughs> Mother mouth. Teresa. I, I, but it's if we sat here silent, people would stop listening to that, us. See, that's true. That's what he's talking about. But you know also, but silence is touching their souls. Silence is golden as well. John knows that. <laughs> Which is another reason why we have no money, <laughs> now that I think of it. <laughs> that's true. Okay, uh, so uh, when we do, if we do get a hold of our guest today, Tiger, still in the uh, yeah. midst of that, uh, what will the what will the topic be? So, Britt Neubacher is a um, designer here locally in San Diego that focuses on interior plantscapes, living walls, and things. But the one thing that she has done recently, and the reason why I wanted to bring her in, is because a lot of people will start talking about bringing interior plants in. John, I mean, we go through this with everyone when it comes to plants. Is they see these Pinterest, they see these social yeah. media posts and these beautiful pothos just growing over an entire room, kind of a thing. You well, you can't just go to a store and buy that. You have to grow that. You have to you have to let it be there for a while to really get that. Well, one of the things that she's done recently is also incorporated some of the preserved, not not fake. They have preserved plants that you can incorporate into the live plants to make it look a little bit bigger than what it is I then, see. and then it grows in eventually. Okay. So there's great ways and techniques that you can do that. And you shot a text to uh, let her, let her yep. know we're trying to get a hold of her? Yep. Okay, Brandon, is Brandon, I should say, is our director and studio coordinator. Brandon, we're going to keep on trying to get a hold of our guest. It is 60 minutes after the hour. We're going to take a break. I'm Brian Main, John Begnasco, Tiger Palafox. Thank you for joining us here. It is Garden America broadcasting live from the iHeart Media Studios here in San Diego, California.
Hi, this is Brian Main inviting you to join me along with John Bagnasco and Tiger Palafox for a springtime garden adventure to Slovenia, Austria, and Prague. Our journey starts near the shores of Lake Bled, nestled in the lower Alps. Lake Bled is one of the prettiest spots on the planet. This is also our jumping off point to explore valleys bursting with wildflowers inside the Julian Alps National Park and so much more. For details and the complete itinerary, visit GardenAmerica.com or EarthboundExpeditions.com. Mosquitoes can transmit deadly diseases including Zika and West Nile virus. But Summit Mosquito Dunks kill mosquitoes before they're old enough to bite. Just float an organic mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, or wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers, hardware stores, and online retailers. Visit Summit Responsible Solutions. Want more business content? You need BizVod, the place for business videos on demand. With BizVod, you can watch the business videos you want to watch when you want to watch. Search for topics that interest you. Available on Roku and Web TV, and soon on Amazon Fire, Apple TV, iOS, and Android. With BizVod, you don't have to wait for business content. You are in control with hundreds of business shows and clips available on demand. Log on to BizVod today and use promo code RADIO for your first month free. That's right. For a limited time, your first month is free with no obligation. You can cancel any time. Membership to BizVod is only $49.95 for the year. That's less than $5 a month. Again, the promo code for your first 30 days free is RADIO. BizVod. The place for business videos on demand. Log on to bizvod.com and join today. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rated number one by consumers nationwide on ConsumerAffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, night time heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. Have you been thinking about taking an Alaskan vacation? Well, now you can book an Alaskan cruise tour with YMT Vacations and immediately save $250 per person. Call YMT Vacations today. We've been helping people take the vacation of a lifetime for over 50 years. And right now, if you've been thinking about what it would be like to go on an Alaskan cruise, now with our $250 per person instant rebate is the perfect time. Call right now for details. And if Alaska isn't on your bucket, list we've got over 50 guided tours to different locations worldwide call right now for your free brochure so if you're looking for the perfect cruise tour to alaska or the perfect guided vacation package you need to call ymt vacations to book right now or for our free brochure 800-296-1553 800-296-1553 800-296-1553 that's 800-296-1553 Missed an episode of your favorite show? No worries. Catch all the episodes on demand at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Okay, we are back here on uh, Garden America, just like that. Uh, from one conversation to the other, we get real professional real quick here. Uh, uh, talking about my hydrangea, which we can address later on. And, yeah. and if I'm doing something wrong, Call you, in. You, Call can, in, Brian. you can uh, point it out to me. That's fine. Okay, so uh, let's reestablish what's happening. This is Garden America. 
It is Saturday morning, no matter where you are, unless you're in some other part of the world, and you're streaming through BizTalk Radio, 855-424-9825, our director and studio coordinator, Brandon, will get you on the air. You can also uh, email us, john at gardenamerica.com, and uh, let's see, BizTalk Radio, we've got Facebook Live, all those things happening. Without any further ado, because there's been a lot of ado this morning, Tiger. You do know this is Sunday if you're uh, over the international day. <laughs> yes, oh, good. well okay. aware of that. Just anyway, Tiger, to toss to you, Tiger. Uh, well, good morning, everyone. And um, this morning, I'm really excited because we're going to have a good friend of mine on. And Britton Neubacher with Tend Living. Um, she specializes in interior plant design, interior plant scapes. Um, kind of a, a good approach to being able to improve your lifestyle from what you're surrounded by. So we're going to talk about some of those concepts and how you can possibly do it at your own house. So, Britt, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining Thank you for us. Having me. So happy to be here. <laughs> it's going to be fun, Britt. You watch. So, 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 Britt. Yeah, just... I, I'm getting that already. Good, good. <laughs> so, Britt just went through a move herself. She she just moved from one home to another home just last week. So, I'm sure her life is all up in boxes, in boxes and scattered yeah. and whatnot. But hey, it gives you a new opportunity to create a new space, right, Britt? That's right, and you know the plants were the first thing to get placed. <laughs> Absolutely, without a doubt, we'd we'd, we'd be uh, unhappy if that wasn't the case. I can see right. we have I, our priorities. I, right. I, I can see like Britt packing boxes and like throwing clothes and dishes into a box, and that's it. But then taking the house plants carefully and very seriously. situating them, wrapping them, right. you know, delicately. Oh, yeah. I transported the plants. Nobody else got to touch those. <laughs> I, don't, I don't blame you. I don't care about furniture. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, and it's true. They really do create the space. Um, it was the first thing that went in, and it was like immediate occupation. You know, there was life, beauty. The rest was just detail. So, Britt, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do, um, why you, what, what got you into this, and, um, you know, what people, you know, really get out of having interior plantscapes. Okay. Well, of course, I have a story. Everybody has a story. Um, I was in social services for 14 years, and I worked kind of on the front lines. I was in crisis work. I worked with the most sort of extreme um, populations, and I loved it, but I found over time that I was not one who could really um, leave it at work, so to speak. So I was experiencing a lot of burnout, a lot of stress, just overall fatigue, and the way that I coped with that um, was just getting my hands in the soil, and it was nothing that I even thought to do. Um, you know, it was kind of it was something I was led to. Suddenly I was like gardening and it was keeping me sane. Um, long story short, I was making um, little mini realms, so to speak, that I wanted to sort of uh, create for my own mental health. I could imagine myself like crawling into these micro environments and finding sanctuary. So you see those hanging glass terrariums. That was my little invention 12 years ago. <laughs> I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah. Um, don't do the math. You'll see how old I am. But, um, plant, plants keep me young at heart. Uh, so anyway, the I called them the Eco Orb, and they grew like wildfire. And it was really fun because um, I loved seeing how people uh, were so eager to connect with nature. And, you know, I, I was a child of the 70s, um, so I remember the plant boom growing up with the spider plants and yep. the ferns and the macrame and you know we never thought that would come back and so in the beginning i was like yes plants no 70s you know house plant <laughs> vibes yes. of course now that's come and gone um again and rightly so and with a little modern update which is fun but um i was just so personally transformed by working with plants i was still actually in social services and doing this side hustle um i had very little funding in my programs and all i needed to do all i knew to do was to bring plants into my um programs you know keep them in the main rooms in the treatment offices um and more and more i saw something happening with our clientele 
where our populations would just come voluntarily. I would have rival gang members show up on their lunch hour, or even after school, to hang out in these spaces because it simply felt good. And it was a place of sanctuary. So um, I was really impacted by that. And I didn't really know what it meant, except that it felt really good for me. And I just let plants be my guide. Um, soon I gave up my career in social services and kind of let plants lead the way. And I've never looked back. I mean, it hasn't always been easy. Um, but, you know, any entrepreneur has their uh, peaks and valleys. But it's been a really beautiful journey. And um, my whole mission continues to be to create um, connection with nature, uh, transform, you know, um, environments, and really create that sanctuary where we can know that we're not just among nature, we too are nature. Yeah. Well, wow. Absolutely, That's, right. Well, you know, it's fun that you had that path, and not only that, you – you embraced it. You know, a lot of people will take a path, but not necessarily right. embrace it because, you know, I mean, you know, they have a career, they have this idea in mind and what they're going to be when, mm -hmm. you know, they grow up, so to speak. But you're like, oh, you know, I, it's time for me to change. And you reacted to that. So that's, and, and this that's was really an neat. extension. This is this is who you are, Brent. I would imagine that this is not just something that's a side thing. This is who you are and this is how you express yourself. Do I have that correct? Mm, it's true. You know, I think I always had um, a real creative impulse, but didn't really know where to shine it. I was always in uh, sort of the music scene or these sort of subcultural movements that were very creative at heart, but I never had like my thing. I wasn't a painter. I wasn't a musician. I, I, I was a dancer, but I couldn't, you know, it was like, am I an artist? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what, if I feel comfortable with that term, you know, to this day, you know, I still kind of feel like, wow, well, compared to my my artist friends who have like really cut their teeth in the art world and they've really um, struggled and, you know, all of that. I'm like, well, I'm not one of them, but <laughs> well, we're all artists at what we love to do. And I have allowed, you know, myself the space to be like, take me. I, I, it's scary as hell. I don't know where this is going, but I can trust nature because, you know, everything we need to know is already out there for us. Nature yeah. knows how to do it. Um, all the, the teachings are there. So, um, yeah, it was a leap of faith. And also I think there was a, a creative slash artist in me that maybe was, had the right enough or a right amount of like crazy and sort of, um, <laughs> risk-taking, you yep. know? And you made it work. Yeah. Hey, we, we've hey. got to take a break. Hold on right there. Hold that thought. We're going to take a break, pay some bills, some commercials coming your way. And then uh, Tiger will get back to this conversation yeah. and, and delve more into uh, her, uh, her situation and her future. Right. Okay, stay with us. Uh, Garden America, Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox at 855-424-9825 or right there on Facebook Live. Blue Star Medicated Ointment gets five-star reviews from our loyal users for fast relief of the pain and itch of almost any skin irritation. Blue Star soothes insect bites and fungal infections. It really works on the summer rashes I get every year. I had psoriasis on my elbows. Blue Star worked wonders. Amazing stuff. Mirror bit on and the itch is gone. Look for the white box with the Blue Star in the first aid section. Feel Blue Star work fast or your money back. There's more than one way to invest in your education. Investing in the right products, securities, and real estate generates secure and sound futures. What about an investment that retains its value? Consider college real estate. College real estate can provide housing for students and generate returns for their families. Through this special offer from Austin iLabs, you can download the free workbook from collegerealestate.com to see if this investment is right for you. Go to collegerealestate.com slash radio. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace. These items may even be covered by Medicare or your private insurance. The Health Alert Hotline is your brace company. These specialized braces have been tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to 
determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or Medicare to minimize your out-of-pocket cost. Don't wait. If the deadline passes, you may lose your opportunity to get a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace at little or no cost to you. 800-513-0061. 800-513-0061. 800-513-0061. That's 800-513-0061. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department of Education. These programs can reduce your interest, lower your payments, and possibly qualify you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in school, you may qualify for one of these programs. Call now to check your eligibility. Student loan advisors are standing by to help you determine if you qualify for these new programs. They can help you reduce your interest, lower your payment, and even forgive a portion of your student loan debt. Take control of your financial future. Make this free five-minute free call now to Nationwide Student Loans and learn how you can reduce your student loan debt. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. Welcome to Sherwin-Williams. So I can get 35% off paint? Yes. And 35% off stains? You bet. Party time! (laughs) Yeah! Oh, party time, the color. I'd like three gallons in party time, please. You got it. Ask Sherwin-Williams August 2nd through 12th and save 35% on paints and stains with sale prices starting at $2502. Only at your local Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800 605 53 70 800 605 5370 call 800 605 5370 Watch some of your favorite shows on Biz TV. Check to see if you get Biz TV by going to biztv.com. And now back to Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. On your Saturday morning, it is uh, Garden America. Thank you for being right there. Facebook Live, we do appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Again, questions, comments uh, for one of us or our guest, uh, Facebook Live will respond immediately. John at GardenAmerica.com also works. And a few people want to pick up the phone, that's fine too, at 855-424-9825. Streaming live, of course, Biz Talk Radio, first hour in San Diego on AM 1240. Tiger? Yeah, and so we're talking this morning with Britton Neubacher with Tend the Living, and she was telling us her story about how she got involved with plants and interior plantscape and plantscapes in general. Um, but now, Britt, I'd like to branch off into people's homes, people's rooms, some of the things that you do. And one of the topics I want to hit on right now is the idea that you know, when you go to a garden center and you go to pick out your houseplants, a lot of time you're going to pick out something young, and you're going to... You grow it out. You know, it's not 
you're not going to be able to find that 12 foot long pothos in a hanging basket at a garden already center. established it's, it's just not going to happen they got to grow it out but sometimes people want that instant gratification or sometimes people have environments where those don't always there, there's not always a plant conducive to that environment and one thing you've done um is kind of enhanced it by using live plants but also using either what would be a preserved plant or some kind of synthetic but you can't even tell nowadays with modern modern i don't know fake plants that sometimes you can't even tell what's the difference between the live or the fake one right can you so can you elaborate on how people can incorporate some of that to maybe get that instant gratification so are these like extensions for your hair yes they yeah, are yeah in a way yeah. that's a good that's a good <laughs> analogy yeah <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Um, very exciting newer technology that's hit the plant world. We are calling these stabilized plants mm, stabilized. Um, or preserved, stabilized, preserved. I like to call them pickled plants, um, <laughs> even though there's <laughs> no pickling involved. The process is really simple. It's essentially displacing the water content with sugar water, like a viscous uh, glycerin. And that allows the uh, plant to be in a state of suspended animation, um, add a little bit of non-toxic food coloring to that, and you get the preservation of the green. Mm -hmm. And you're able to create, um, now you can't do entire plants because it doesn't work with like the root structure. This would just be leafy foliage. Um, some florals work, even roses can be preserved now. And it's a great alternative because um, you can either use it in its entirety, like in maybe uh, an assemblage kind of format where you put together lots of stems and you do like a nature takeover, um, which is something I did at Nolita Hall um, in San Diego, which is, you know, like this sort of abandonment beauty or nature reclaiming buildings um, aesthetic where you have uh, leafy bits creeping in through the nooks and crannies, growing um, up the wall in natural growth patterns, and, you know, you have this whole green story. So um, you can do it in its entirety. You can, like Tiger was saying, add it to um, plants that are less mature and need a little bit more oomph in their green story. Um, you can also use them... Uh, you know, mixed with faux, if you want to create a little bit more uh, of a natural, believable look to faux. I call faux toy plants. Um, I borrow that from my assistant's daughter. I think it's brilliant. <laughs> um, <laughs> synthetic or plastic, the polymers. You know, it's, it's, it's good to have them because we want nature represented in any way we can get it, and there's a psychological benefit to that. Um, but we want to you know, as much as possible, minimize plastic, more plastic on this planet. So um, I'll use the, the toy plants when absolutely necessary. Say we want to have green, you know, like again at Nolita, 20 feet up in the rafters. Maybe it's under a skylight that's going to get just just baked by the sun. The preserved plant is not going to be a good option for that. Um, where you're going to see, you know, uh, more detail than you're going to want something more believable and more natural. So sometimes I'll throw in some of the toy plants um, just to create that overall effect. But I, I try to be mindful about how much plastic we're putting on this planet. So the preserved plant is an awesome alternative because it's the real thing. Um, it is not bad for the environment. And I believe there's still, excuse me, this is going to sound a little woo-woo, but there's still <laughs> a, a plant spirit <laughs> sort of energy to it uh -huh. um, because it once had life and you know energy is never created or destroyed so it's like still in there a little bit mm -hmm. um and it's a it's a, just a beautiful look as well so overall it's like a really exciting new material that we're able to incorporate and do you have any images that we can um, send people to for to kind of these examples do you guys do you, do you have a uh, website or social media that maybe has yeah, some, to of see some of this work yeah that you've done yeah, um, of course, my website is totally out of date, but you can try me at tendliving.com. You can see where I've created um, smaller applications with this material. So I do a lot of what I call plant portals, the idea um, that we're sort of 
uh, traveling into a, a nature scape through these openings into nature. So I do framed out pieces um, with the preserved plants and lots of moss. Um, but Instagram is my most um, up-to-date platform, and I'm Tend Living on Instagram. That's All T-E-N-D, right. living? Yep, Tend Living. Okay. You got it. Yeah, and I think that, you know, the one thing when it comes to, we're talking about the preserved plants, um, suspended, the uh, fake and or toy plants and then the live is is we're using it all i mean you know yeah, for instance right. the the space that she's yep. describing with nolita hall if you go down on the on the table level people are sitting in this restaurant everything around them at that point in time is is real mm -hmm. they touch it right they, you know these are plants that they water they take care of and stuff like that as you go up exactly. in the levels that's when she starts using some of these other plantscapes because it's really hard to make a plant grow without any direct sun in the corner right. of an industrial mm -hmm. space, so to speak. But <laughs> you still get that feel that it is alive sure. and it is still there. And, you know, when people are doing that at home, kind of like what she mentioned with her social working, sometimes it's not so much whether the plant is real or not, but you get that feeling it's from a, being it's in It's a there, look. It's a know? look. And, yet, and like you mentioned, Tiger, at the well, beginning of the show. it's a suggestion. Yeah. yeah. And they're getting so... The, some of these plants that they're making now that aren't real are just so good. I mean, you, yeah. you have to actually touch it to, to realize it's not real. Yeah. So incorporating that with real plants as you extend outward gives you that same feel that everything is real. Yeah, and I like the idea that John had mentioned that these are kind of like plant extensions yeah, exactly. kind of thing because that's the yeah. thing that I think people have the biggest trouble with is that nowadays they go on social media and they see these plantscapes and they're like, oh, I want that. And then they go, they go to a, a <laughs> garden center and they see a – ficus lorata that's eight feet tall for two hundred dollars and like oh i'm never gonna buy that but meanwhile in that picture that's what they want of course they buy the thirty dollar one well you're gonna wait a few years yeah, and it'll eventually grow yeah, kind sure. of a thing but um yeah. so so that's that's one thing um brit i wanted we have uh another couple minutes too i wanted to mention before our break that um Aside from the interior landscapes, you also do, like you mentioned, these portals, these kind of living wall things. Now, there's a few things that people need to know about living walls as well. Um, one is <laughs> where they should be placed and how to water them. Do you have any tips for people on those? I do. It's all about the environment. So we want to set plants and people up for success. Living walls are a dramatic and gorgeous way to you know, incorporate plants. But um, as we've learned over the years, there's a lot of failure rate. So we want, number one, ad adequate natural light. You're going to have light come in at different um, angles throughout the year, creating different microclimates. Um, you want there to be great circulation. There needs to be regular maintenance. It's a real investment. And something I want to drive home with people is, you know, plants our family members. So we don't throw them in to spaces and just, you know, hope that we can minimally um, tend to them, throw them scraps here and there, or maybe nothing at all. <laughs> um, they're life and they, it, it's an investment and they will pay you back over time. So um, if you're going to go for something like a living wall, it's a big investment and it's totally worth it, but you have to know going in that it's going to require time and money. Um, so with that said, I have shifted over in the indoor uh, space where it's just harder. It's, you've got too many factors that are unknown in the indoor space because then you bring in HVAC, right? Mm -hmm. Heating and cooling that changes throughout the year. Um, so I've been using the, the moss wall application and then incorporating the leafy preserved foliage on top of that and creating these green scapes that are zero maintenance aside from occasional dusting with a can of compressed air. Yeah. All right, we got another break coming up right now, and then we'll when come we back get and more, wrap we'll, it up. we'll wrap it up and get all the info that you need from Britt about how to get a hold of her, um, other um, ways to see what she's done, and go from there. We will, Tiger, absolutely. It is 45 minutes after the hour. Again, one more segment coming up. We're going to wrap things up with Britt when we come back. John Bagnasco, I'm Brian Main, Tiger Palafox. And thank you so much for supporting us and being right there. Facebook Live, Biz Talk Radio, or AM 1240.
Mosquitoes can transmit deadly diseases including Zika and West Nile virus. But Summit Mosquito Dunks kill mosquitoes before they're old enough to bite. Just float an organic mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, or wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers, hardware stores, and online retailers. Visit SummitResponsibleSolutions.com. Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keeping the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite slow-release nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. This is an urgent health notice for all residents suffering from back, neck, knee, and wrist pain. You may qualify for a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you, but the deadline is fast approaching. Simply call the Health Alert Hotline now. You heard right. You may qualify for a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace. These items may even be covered by Medicare or your private insurance. The Health Alert Hotline is your brace company. These specialized braces have been tested for pain relief. Call us toll-free right now to determine your eligibility and to learn how to use your private insurance or Medicare to minimize your out-of-pocket cost. Don't wait. If the deadline passes, you may lose your opportunity to get a pain-relieving back, neck, knee, or wrist brace at little or no cost to you. 800-513-0061. 800-513-0061. 800-513-0061. That's 800-513-0061. Do you have a problem hearing the television? Do you need to crank up the volume so loud your family is screaming at you? Then put on your TV ears. TV Ears has helped millions of people just like you hear TV loud and clear without cranking up the volume. For about 60 bucks for the 30-day free trial, you can get your own set of TV Ears. When you wear TV Ears, you can mute the TV volume for private listening or let others watch TV with you. Order in the next 10 minutes and take us up on our 30-day home trial and very special price. TV Ears is a brand hearing professionals have trusted for more than 20 years. And through this special radio offer, you can get your very own for just $60. Just mention promo code RADIO. So put on your TV Ears and make everyone happy. 800-984-0964. 800-984-0964. 800-984-0964. That's 800-984-0964. Americans are going crazy for a new Italian diet pill that burns three times more fat than dieting alone. And the next 100 callers get three bottles for free. Sold under the brand name Invigorate 3X. This powerful pill triggers metabolic acceleration, a process that's deficient to most Americans, making weight loss a hassle. But a new study shows 30 pounds gone in 90 days with just two capsules a day. Julie B. of Nashville says, I was skeptical. But when I saw a famous doctor made it, I decided to try it. I was shocked. I lost 16 pounds in six weeks. For a limited time, our listeners get three free bottles with a qualifying order. Call 1-800-932-1789 now to get started. Call in the next 10 minutes and also get a free bottle of the doctor's Ultra Detox. And don't forget your free 14-day diet fix. No obligation and 100% free when you call right now. 800-932-1789. 800-932-1789. Life insurance is one of those things that just about everybody needs, but few people actually have. Hey, if you die unexpectedly without life insurance, guess what? You'll leave your family with even a bigger mess. Life insurance will help replace your family's income. It'll help cover burial expenses. Life insurance can even help pay off debt like credit cards and medical bills. Life insurance can even pay for college. And if you own a business and you die, life insurance can help your business from collapsing. It can even help cover estate taxes. Life insurance has never been more affordable and needed. Plus, you can always shop around even if you have a plan and save some money. So call the Life Insurance Quote Line right now for free pricing information. 800-915-9658. 800-915-9658. 800-915-9658. That's 800-915-9658. 
From Main Street to Wall Street, we have the business content you need. So sit back, take notes, and tell your friends about Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And just like that, uh, final segment, hour number one, Tiger, going to wrap things up with our guest. A lot of great information this morning, and I hope people uh, got a lot out of it, because I did. Yeah, and so we were t- we were, are talking with Britton Neubacher with uh, 10 Living, and she was just telling us about interior plantscapes, living walls, uh, different ideas and how to take care of them, what you should do and think about before you even attempt to do some of have those a game, things. Have a game yeah, plan of exactly. something going in. Um but Britt, you had mentioned your website. You had mentioned your Instagram. Um, what kind of services do you also have with your company? Because I know you do a lot of like consultation work and installation work. Um, you know, what kind of what kind of things would you tell people that you do? Hmm, it's a good question. I think it's more <laughs> a matter of what don't I do? <laughs> if plants are involved, more than likely, I want to crack at it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm really super open. Um, I've been moving a little bit more into the fine art sort of sector in terms of, um, doing some gallery work and public arts. I have an installation at the airport right now in Terminal 2. That's pretty exciting. Um, but, you know, I can do anything from a small pocket garden. The larger landscapes I'll bring in my favorite uh, people, Mission Hills Nursery. <clears throat> um, shameless plug. And, uh, oh, shameless, yes, actually. Very uh, highly, um, I've highly endorse those people for a good reason. Um, and uh, everything from, yeah, the living walls, the preserved stuff, commercial applications. I do a lot of restaurants. Um, I do a lot of salons. I personally would really love to move more into um, the healing environment. So hospitals, um, mm. recovery centers, places where nature is lacking, and yet we know the impact, um, the positive impact of nature on the healing process is so profound and well documented by now. So even bringing in, you know, this alternative, the preserved application, so that there isn't any maintenance, but you get the full effect of connection with nature. Yeah, so it sounds like if you're looking for a way to incorporate plants into your right. life, Britt can help you find that way. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, thank you very you much for it. joining us this morning. Lots of good info. Again, 10living.com is T-E-N-D. the website, T-E-N-D, right? T-E-N-D, right? T-E-N-D, okay. you got it. Tend right. to the earth. Yeah. And so, to your soul. Thank you very much. Good luck on the move. Good luck unpacking boxes, Britt. Thank you so much. My plants are in place. I'm happy. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good rest of the day. Thank you, guys. All All right. Green blessings. Bye-bye. Yep. And those uh, living in San Diego, of course, uh, referring to Mission Hills Nursery, Tiger Palafox and his family. And uh, by the way, listening on AM 1240, the first hour, I want to catch our second hour. You can go to our Facebook page, Garden America Radio, on Facebook, of course, or uh, check in on BizTalk Radio. Yeah, I've got something for you here. Okay. Love, love it, John. Go right ahead. All right. Listen to this. Today's agenda is going to include an easy two-mile walk to Vintner Gorge. And there you'll walk on a flat trail and suspension bridges above rushing rivers and powerful cascading waterfalls. Then we're off to a little island on Lake Bled. And the small church on the island dates back to the 10th century. But the present building was built in the 17th century. And according to local tradition, a husband who can carry his new bride the 99 steps from the dock into the church will be ensured a happy marriage. And Whoa. if you ring the bell in the church, it'll make all your dreams come true. <laughs> so, the, And the way that you reach the island is by a special boat called a Pletna. And in the afternoon, you'll have some options like a bike ride around Lake Bled or visit a nearby thermal spring and spa. And that is only day two of the tour that we're taking Are you taking talking next about year. our fantastic trip to wow, Europe? I was just going to wonder. In 2020? I was going to ask you, what, where can I go to do that? Yeah. Okay, okay. so what John is referring to is this fantastic trip that we've lined up with our good friend uh, Matthew Brumley from Earthbound Expeditions. It is at the end of May into June of 2020. 
And John, that was uh, that was a, a good narration of just That's just a, day hi, two. Hi. I'm sorry, we've got. Uh, is there somebody hi. on the phone? Yeah, we got. Hello, is there somebody there? Oh, okay, hey Brandon, our director and studio coordinator, you can hang up the phone now. We are through with our guests. <laughs> Uh, we do appreciate that. Anyway, getting back to with John's narration, this is part of our big trip, obviously, right? Yes, yes. We're going to start out in Slovenia. Uh, to uh, uh, I think we arrive in Ljubljana, which is the capital. Then we go to Lake Bled, spend the night there, and we have a welcome dinner with a tra- traditional Slovenian food. And then the, the next day is what I just described. That's day two, what you that talked was about. just day two, right. Wow, I thought that was the whole trip. No, no, no. And then we go from there to Vienna and from Vienna to Prague, uh, seeing gardens all, all along the way. And, you know, I read this quote from Frederick Chopin, and he said, Vienna is a handsome, lively city, and it pleases me exceedingly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how long ago that was written. Yeah. And, and do you know how long it's been since now. I've been pleased exceedingly? <laughs> <laughs> I think you have something to look forward to, John, on this trip. So, so well, yeah, go ahead, had, Tiger. We, well, we had a question that came over via email oh, yeah. about, Na- about the trip. And saying, she said, well, you know, I live in a very beautiful area, and I go to a lot of wonderful gardens. What am I going to see on this trip that's any different than where I am now? Especially right? because we're seeing a lot of older gardens. Right. You know, and the one thing John brought up earlier to me is kind of like when we were in England. Okay. I live here in California. I see a lot of very beautiful landscapes here in California. Right. Okay. And you're used that's, to it. And that's, and that's wonderful. And, but when we were in England, we're talking about landscapes that are a thousand years old. 500 years old you're not going to see that in california right and, i mean don't get me wrong when you walk out in nature you walk in the mountains those have been there for sure since we've been around but you know when it comes to an actual landscape that was thought planted out you know taken care of tended to you're not going to experience that here we're not our country isn't old enough to experience exactly that. so these areas that we're going to that john just described historical there, there's plants that we're going to see that are Five, six hundred years old, nine hundred years old, kind of a thing, and you're never going to see that here in any of the United States. We're not old enough. That for was one planted, thing. you know. Exactly, we were not that. And we enough. chopped down everything that was that old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now we've got a break coming up. We've got news coming up top of the hour here on Biz Talk Radio. When we come back, though, we're going to delve into this just a little bit more. Open up the second hour, talking about this trip because more and more people are signing up, and of course, with that comes more and more questions. And uh, what we just addressed was a, a, a question from Naomi wanting to know, like you said, Tiger, well, why should I go on this trip? You know, I'm used to new. I'm used to modern. And we'll talk more about that when we get back at six minutes after. Uh, Biz Talk Radio, Facebook Live, questions, comments. If you have any questions about the trip, uh, john at gardenamerica.com or Facebook Live, and we'll address that. News coming up on Biz Talk Radio. We are back hour number two at six minutes after. Do stay with us. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk Radio app. Available in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. BizTalk Radio. The opinions you hear on BizTalk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, BizTalk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on BizTalk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about BizTalk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for biz. USA Radio News with John Hunt. Billionaire financier Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his prison cell. With that story, here's USA's Wendy King. Jeffrey Epstein, the millionaire financer and accused sex trafficker, was found dead by suicide at a Manhattan jail. Officials say he was found at the Metropolitan Correction Center in New York and that he hanged himself. He was transported to a hospital in Lower Manhattan. Upon arrival, he was in cardiac arrest. Epstein, 66, was being held on federal sex trafficking charges. He had pleaded not guilty and was denied bail. The indictment in the case showed that he sought out minors, some as young as 14, from at least 2002 through 2005, and paid them hundreds of dollars in cash for sex 
at either his Manhattan townhouse or his estate in Palm Beach, Florida. He faced up to 45 years in prison if found guilty. This is USA Radio News. Hi, I'm Wayne Alaroot for Amp Fest 19. Amp Fest 19 is the most entertaining political event and Trump Fest of the year for any conservative who wants to be empowered and entertained or for any Trump super fan who wants to just have a blast. If that's you, head to the Trump Doral Hotel on October 10th to 12th in sizzling, sexy Miami, Florida. Headliner speakers at Amp Fest 19 include Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Dinesh D'Souza, Charlie Kirk of the Turning Point USA, Brandon Straka of the Walkaway Movement, and of course, yours truly, Wayne Alan Root. I love that guy. But this is more than a traditional political event or Trump Love Fest. Ampfest 19 features a Texas Hold'em poker tournament, golf tournament, comedy night, pool party, yacht party, fashion show, movie screening, women for Trump social, and prayer breakfast hosted by Alveda King. To register for Ampfest 19, just go to AmericanPriority.com. That's AmericanPriority.com. It all happens October 10th to 12th at the Trump Doral in sizzling sexy Miami. I'll see you there. AmericanPriority.com. With the latest story update from El Paso, Texas, the man accused of carrying out last weekend's deadly mass shootings at the Walmart confessed to officers while he was surrendering and later explained that he had been targeting only Mexicans. Patrick Crucius, age 21, emerged with his hands up from a vehicle that was stopped at an intersection shortly after the attack and told officers, I am your shooter. Detective Adrian Garcia said this in an arrest warrant affidavit. Crucius later waived his Miranda rights and agreed to speak with the detectives, telling them he entered the store with with the AK-47 assault rifle and multiple magazines only targeting Mexicans. 22 people were killed and two dozen injured. Most of the dead had Hispanic last names and eight were Mexican nationals. The World Food Program says it's planning to nearly quadruple the number of people that the UN agency helps in four Central American countries affected by drought, seen as one of the drivers of migration through the region. The agency aims to provide food assistance to 700,000 people in El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. This is USA Radio News. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-215-5141. 800-215-5141. That's 800-215-5141. America's most well-known bear is turning 75. USA's Chris Barnes has more. One federal official says Smokey Bear ranks right up there behind Santa Claus and Mickey Mouse. Since 1944, Smokey's been seen in parades, on posters, in magazines, and in TV commercials. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. All this year, he's being celebrated at events across the nation. This week, though, marks the actual 75th anniversary of his service, and it's being marked with numerous events all across the nation. Experts say his message remains important as humans cause over 60,000 wildfires each year. Walmart has ordered workers to remove video game signs and displays that depict violence from stores nationwide after 22 people died at a shooting at one of its Texas stores. But the big box retailer will continue to sell guns. In an internal memo, the retailer told employees to remove any violent marketing material, unplug Xbox and PlayStation consoles that show violent video games, and turn off any violence depicted on screens in its electronics departments. Walmart will still sell the violent video games and hasn't made any changes to its gun sales policy, despite pressure from workers, politicians, and activists to do so. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, a Democrat running for president, blasted Walmart in a tweet. She said the weapons they sell are killing their own customers and employees. No profit is worth those lives. Do the right things. Stop selling guns. This is USA Radio News. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. A CGM can immediately reduce pain. It's accurate, easy to use, and 
and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Plus, get free shipping, and we'll bill your insurance company for you. Call now to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little or no out-of-pocket cost. 855-680-2173. That's 855-680-2173. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments. Or John at GardenAmerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. And welcome to hour number two. A lot of new people joining us uh, this hour. Hopefully you're watching us on uh, Facebook Live. You can uh, post your questions, comments. If not, perhaps a Biz Talk Radio streaming around the world. If you want to give us a call, 855-424-9825, and then Brandon will put you on the air. Again, uh, John at GardenAmerica.com. Now, last hey. hour, toward the end of last hour, John, talking about the trip. Did you Yeah, wanna... before we do yeah, that, go ahead. though, I have a quick question, because you just mentioned that you can post your questions on Facebook. Yes. It sounds simple for you, but I've had had listeners mention to me that they don't know how they do that. Well, first of all, do they know how to get on our Facebook page? Yes, they can watch on Facebook, but then how do they post? A okay, question? well, well, you'll see on on the right hand side of our page because obviously the video is going to be more or less in the middle of, the, of your screen. On the right hand side, you'll see where people are logging on. You can see all the people who are watching, uh-huh. and then at the very bottom of that, it says write a comment. So just look where so it says. So you click on write a comment. Yes. And then you just start typing. Just typing and then hit enter, and yeah. then it'll it'll post and it'll be there. And and Tiger, myself, and sometimes you, we monitor that, and then we can see in order who's asking questions. And you know what's funny about that is that you have to click enter to write the comment. Mm-hmm. On my old computer, my enter button didn't work. And how, no, how did you get no, around that? Well, that's what I'm saying. There's no mouse click either because sometimes there will be a button that says send, right, and right. you can use your mouse right. and click it. Well, on that, there's no send button. So what I have to do is pull up. You know how your computer has a keyboard that you can pull up right. kind of a sure, thing? Sure, sure. And then you can use the mouse to click on that keyboard? I had to do that to oh, post gee. comments. But um, no, yeah, that's all it you... says write a comment. That's all yeah. you do. Yeah, that's so all I you do. So I think that's what trips up some people is that yeah. you don't realize you have to push enter. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then because they'll see the comment, but until right. you push enter, nobody else will nobody see else it. Nobody else will see it. Right, it, and you keep clicking on that with right. your mouse, nothing's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. so, so okay. that's, that's the best way. Facebook open. People who actually are watching can see me and my computer, so you can see my computer behind me. Which is about, I think there's about a 10-second delay between what's actually going on live and then what you see on Facebook Live. Uh, again, so you can do that or john at gardenamerica.com or call us at 855-424-9825. But we want to continue talking about this trip, which we discussed end of last hour. John was talking about day two. Let's, let's start from the beginning, John. Where do we land? What's going on? And what's the purpose of what we're doing in 2020 for those that are contemplating or just listening to it for the first time? Well, the purpose is to have a great trip with friends that like gardening like-minded people that's right and um we've done a lot of these tours and i i can't think of one that didn't turn out to be just a huge surprise it's always to better me. better than what we anticipated yeah, to be way better way better and in this one uh, we're going to parts of the of europe that i've never been before so i'm really looking forward to it i have been to slovenia and uh, Lake Bled that we're going to, I keep telling you guys, it's one of the most beautiful, pl- I think right. maybe the most beautiful place I've ever visited in my life. And on our newsletter, uh, you can see the picture is just unbelievable. We on, our, on our newsletter, right. the picture is uh, of the island that's in the right. center of the lake. And again, really peaceful up there, you know, in the Alps. They don't allow motorboats on the lake. Uh, it's only those uh, uh, pletna, the flat bottom boats that they pull you over on. They, they keep it quiet yeah so so there's um 
uh, the natural, uh, that's for the International Wildflower Festival. So you've got the nat- nature all around you and peaceful and relaxing. But we're going to see a lot of really nice gardens and gardens in front of castles. But there's museums, there's music. Castles, gardens, museums, the Julian Alps. I mean, what more could you want? Beer and wine tasting. Well, all mm-hmm. that, too? Yeah. yeah. So, And again, we're talking about one of the most beautiful cities in the world, too, Prague, and just... You know, it's, I'm really looking forward yeah. to seeing Prague. I've heard so much about it. And this is a tailor-made trip for Garden America. This is not a template that you grab from a an agency or a travel agency or AAA, which is fine if you want to do that. But this has been tailor-made for us, Tiger, and a lot of thought and planning with Matthew and Earthbound Expeditions. I guarantee and, if you take any other garden trip anywhere else in the world, you'll not be going with Brian Tiger and myself. <laughs> and I would venture to say that if you were to do this same trip, you're going to pay almost double than what we're charging people to go. It's a great, great price. Well, you know, I have had people ask me how much you have to put down to reserve your space, Mm -hmm. and we can tell people that. Yeah. uh, Because, actually, my sister and her husband just signed up last week. Excellent, excellent. And it's $500. So $500. $500, and you can reserve your space. And for some reason, this tour is selling out quicker than our past tours. Well, when you think of the places we're going, this is exotic. I mean, you're talking about Slovenia, you're talking about Austria, uh, Prague, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And uh, anybody that's been there knows what we're talking about. And again, I just, you know, think sound of music, you know, think, you know, wide open spaces, grass, mountains. And, you know, I was trying to think because we got that question earlier about why would I go on yeah, this why trip? Why would I want to go on this thing. trip? And I was thinking about it and trying to, aside from what we're seeing, because that's an obvious reason as far as why you would kind of go on this trip. And aside from being able to experience things that you'll never get a chance to experience any other time. Sure. Um, you know, the people that went to England with us, John, it seemed really relaxing for them to just be able to enjoy it and not have to so much think about the planning, what they're doing, where they're going, driving there. I mean, we get on, we get on these charter buses, very comfortable. There's right. water, there's drinks on them, comfy seats, you know, I mean, air conditioning, air conditioning, air conditioning all of yeah. that, right? And we're driving through these back parts of, of England. Oh, the English not, countryside. Not, not exactly yeah. the easiest place to drive all the time, but uh. guess what? It doesn't bother me because I'm not driving. No, exactly. <laughs> and and um and then I'm not thinking about how I get from one place to the next. We, I, I get on the bus, and next thing you know, we arrive. Or where your next and, meal's and coming they, from. And they, and they park us right there and drop you off. So, so I felt it was a very relaxing trip for our listeners that didn't have to, you know, just, you know, normally you, you go on a vacation, you're thinking about how you're going to get from one place to the next. you got to get a rental car. you got to do stressful. this. you got to do that. It's like, ah, and, you know, then you get lost and... No, 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 no. There's none of that happening here. You just get to enjoy it. And you, you know don't, what? You don't have to think Some about Some people it. did get annoyed when you started singing 100 bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> just a few, though. Hey, day four. And, and don't the, remind be- me the of beauty day four. is, too, another question people ask us is okay, well, there are some things that are planned out. There's an itinerary. Do I have to go and do everything? No. And the answer is no. If you want to take the day off, if you want to do something yourself while we're there, you're welcome to do that. There are plenty of things planned that you're probably going to want to see. But you don't have to do everything. Right. There, there's free time if that's what you want. And again, it's practically all inclusive, including tips, your meals, the whole deal. Um, what else do we say about it, John? I mean, this is just—it's uh, incredible what Matthew's done. Well, you know, uh, if you want to slip over to day six. We're going to be in Vienna, and we're going to the Belvedere Museum and Gardens and the Botanical Gardens, and the Belvedere Palace is home to the world's largest collection of paintings by Monet, Manet, and Klimt. You mean Monet. You're talking about Monet, right? Yes, Monet. (laughs) Gustav Klimt. So, um, and after we go to the museum, you know, and you see all the artwork, then we'll we'll do the gardens nearby. So, Artwork, gardens? Yeah. Come on. A lot of good things. Did you know, by the way, that, uh, that when Beethoven went to Vienna, at the age of 17, that he went to study under Mozart. Whoa. Did I know yeah. that? I, I don't know if I did. No, I didn't know that. That's something. Did he, did he actually study under Mozart? Yeah. You're saying he went to, but yeah. I don't know if he actually yeah, did. Yeah, he did. He studied under Mozart. 
I think he he might have been a troubled youth because I think they said that he might have in the thirty years that he lived in Vienna he may have lived in eighty different places, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. being uh, chased around or having to keep one step ahead of somebody else. Right? Uh, he was on the lamb. So okay, so what do people do, John? We've we've got their we've got their interest peak now. W- what do they need to do? Oh yeah, go to um, EarthboundExpeditions.com. Okay. And uh, just look up the Garden America tour to Europe. If you, they have, their tours are grouped by categories. So there's um, North America, South America, the Pacific. You want to click on Europe, and when you Europe. click click on Europe, you'll see the Garden America tour. And that's EarthboundExpeditions.com. Right. Another question uh, people are, are, are asking: uh, What's up with our website? What can we expect in the next? Oh, why don't you bring that up? month uh, or so? That's a question for Tiger. So we're in the middle. It's under construction, yeah. as they say. Yeah. So when you go there, you're getting kind of a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. But if you see all the things that are for sale there, um, well, no. they'll sell. They, they they won't. They will say out of stock. Out of There's stock. Only right. A few things that are actually in stock. So you know, yeah, you're going to see things, but they're not going to be able to purchase them right, right. if they're not in stock. So give us so within a month or so that will be up and running, and all the information will be there as well. And you should be a subscriber to our newsletter as well. That gives you a lot of great things as far as upcoming guest. Uh, future shows and of course direct links to our podcast which Ooh. by the way a new podcast coming up uh, after today's show which will be on facebook live and then this week we'll upload it and post it so wherever you go there is garden america it is break time right tiger yes and talk about a newsletter that plum from bob here we go this is joe lample from growing a greener world with the environment in mind i recommend melorganite organic nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs from plants to people active growth requires energy nutrients and a balanced diet nutrient-rich melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months the organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot dry weather trust the fertilizer proven effective for ninety years melorganite for better results naturally Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Mosquitoes can transmit deadly diseases including Zika and West Nile virus. But Summit Mosquito Dunks kill mosquitoes before they're old enough to bite. Just float an organic mosquito dunk in ponds, bird baths, rain barrels, and any standing water to kill mosquito larvae for 30 days or longer. Don't worry, mosquito dunks won't harm people, pets, fish, or wildlife. Mosquito dunks are available at fine garden centers, hardware stores, and online retailers. Visit SummitResponsibleSolutions.com. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to WaveWater411.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to wavewater411.com. That's wavewater411.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. Have you been thinking about taking an Alaskan vacation? Well, now you can book an Alaskan cruise tour with YMT Vacations and immediately save $250 per person. Call YMT Vacations today. We've been helping people take the vacation of a lifetime for over 50 years. And right now, if you've been thinking about what it would be like to go on an Alaskan cruise, now with our $250 per person instant rebate is the perfect time. Call right now for details. And if Alaska isn't on your bucket, list we've got over 50 guided tours to different locations worldwide call right now for your free brochure so if you're looking for the perfect cruise tour to alaska or the perfect guided vacation package you need to call ymt vacations to book right now or for our free brochure 800-296-1553 800-296-1553 800-296-1553 that's 800-296-1553 Do you have a problem hearing the television? Do you need to crank up the volume so loud your family is screaming at you? Then put on your TV ears. 
TV Ears has helped millions of people just like you hear TV loud and clear without cranking up the volume. For about 60 bucks for the 30-day free trial, you can get your own set of TV Ears. When you wear TV Ears, you can mute the TV volume for private listening or let others watch TV with you. Order in the next 10 minutes and take us up on our 30-day home trial and very special price. TV Ears is a brand hearing professionals have trusted for more than 20 years. And through this special radio offer, you can get your very own for just $60. Just mention promo code RADIO. So put on your TV Ears and make everyone happy. 800-984-0964. 800-984-0964. That's 800-984-0964. Missed an episode of your favorite show? No worries. Catch all the episodes on demand at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Thank you so much. And for those on the East Coast, we say a good afternoon, 21 minutes after the hour. Brian Maine, along with John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, Garden America. Every week we do it. We kick things off at six minutes after the hour here, 806 on the West Coast, 1106 Eastern Time Zone. And for the rest of the country, Central Time Zone, Mountain Time Zone, Tiger, they've got to figure that out themselves. <laughs> but uh, we are back here on uh, BizTalk Radio, streaming live across the world, across the country. John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live. In fact, uh, we talked about how to post your question or comment on Facebook, and uh, Michael uh, did that very same thing. Do you have his question in front of you, Tiger? Yeah, he was talking about a peach tree that he has. With worms. With worms going into the peaches. So annoying, right? I mean, oh, absolutely. Yeah, this, and you know what's the worst part about it is that the worms don't eat much. Besides, they just go straight to the middle of it, right to the middle, and just cause a lot of damage. Yeah. And that peach is not really edible. I guess you nah, could cut I mean, around it or not. It's, yeah, you can, but, but it's, it's kind of a not, yeah. yeah. It's not something that's very appetizing. What, right? So he he's acknowledging it might be too late this year, which it is. What do we do then? What should Michael do? So, you know, with all stone fruits, a very important thing to do is do the winter pest control, which is a, a horticultural oil. Uh, and you're going to do that when it's dormant. So you, for most people, say that's January, February-ish, you know, definitely for us on the West Coast. Does is, is that change for the East Coast people as well? Yeah, on the East Coast, the trees aren't going to leaf out until April, May. Okay. So you've got all the way up until all the way through March to spray. Probably March yeah. would be the best time. And the horticultural oils, what they do is, is and I try to tell people it's kind of like a protective shell for the tree where they coat the whole tree because you're just, at this point in time, you're just spraying stems. You know, there's no leaves on it. Right. There's there's no fruit. There's no flowers. You're just spraying stems. But it's a protective shell. And any eggs that are on the tree, it coats and then doesn't allow that critter, that insect the it insect or pest to, suffocates them. you know hatch mm -hmm. um it also kind of protects the tree from any kind of new insects coming along because they you know insects don't like oil that's why all of our insects settle so oil based neem oil yeah spinoza they're all oil based is because insects don't like the oil um so that's a big thing to do at that time of year because they tell you for a lot of stone fruits, when they do get a bug problem later on or a disease problem later on, it's too late, like we're talking about now. Now, during the leafing out time of year, if you do see a a worm problem, you can you can use well, things just like as spinosad. a pre preventative, right? Yeah, right. use the spinosad, uh, and you can even mix it with oil if you want. Yeah, at the beginning of the year, but you can't use that. When it starts to flower or some or, or or flowering, well, you can use it anytime. Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt anything. It it will kill bees if you spray it on the bees. So if the trees are flowering, you want to make sure that you spray after the bees have gone back to their hives. Early so, morning or e evening when they're... very early okay. morning or late evening. I I say late evening. Okay. Spinosa won't hurt bees once it's dry. It's right. only if you spray it on them and it's wet. And okay. and so those those two things horticultural oil when it's dormant right. and then spinosa as a preventative when you know or late season would yeah. solve any kind of worm problem because I spinosa think right lasts after for a it's weeks. done flowering would probably be the the best time to spray with the spinosa yeah and then maybe one more spraying about 
three weeks after that, and you yeah. should, that should take care of all your problems. Yeah, because the, and then the problem with the worms is that they can kind of come at any time. So, you know, you can even do your hort spray sometimes and still get that problem later on, um, which is a, a a bummer. But yeah, so I hope that helps Michael out. And next year he'll have all the necessary information to be able to be successful. Speaking of fruit trees, though, in our newsletter there was a picture of a plum tree by one of our friends, Bob. Shiro. And Shiro, Shiro plum. plum. Right. It's a yellowish gold color. Right. You, you like it, Tiger, a lot, don't you? Almost well, looked like an apricot, huh? Yeah. And yeah. when I looked at the picture initially, I thought it was right. an error. And then I looked it up, and I'm like, whoa, that is uh, really neat. Plums are purple. This one's defying all other plums. I love plums. They're delicious. They're right? messy, but they're delicious. Yeah, good juicy plum. And and red inside. The the redder the better. Is it yellow all the way through? I didn't even look at that yes. picture. So it's yellow all yeah. the way through. Yeah. There are plums. Actually, I'm trying to think. Are they plums or are they pluots that have a light skin, but inside they're blood red? Pluot. Yeah. Pluot. yeah That's those. a pluot? I've seen those, yeah. 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 Pluots are... are uh, by generic crosses, right? Right. What was? Don't call them. Do no, I'm age. sorry. They're in a, interspecific crosses, not by generic. When we were talking with, um, <laughs> Tiger goes, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah, John. <laughs> He's getting. John's exactly <laughs> He's right. He's going down the rabbit hole now. <laughs> well, there are crosses between apricots and plums. He calls them dinosaur eggs, which I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> no, but back to your we point. Were, we were talking with um, the gentleman from Dave Wilson Nursery earlier in this year. Right. And Tom Spellman. Yeah. And he was mentioning some of the crosses that they're coming out with nowadays. There was one that you got really excited about. Do you remember which one that was? I think it, it was a cherry cross with something. It was. Oh, was yeah, it a, yeah, yeah. 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 Was it, it a cherry apricot cross? It was, was something it? strange, but it was. Yeah, you. And, 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 it, and it blew my mind, too. But it's kind of crazy what they're doing now with the right. fruit trees and crossing these these varieties and making these new. But what tom had mentioned was it's just so neat aside for us who love plants and trees and be able to do that kind of thing mm -hmm. but for culinary people chefs you know you know restaurateurs like they're they're creating whole new you know meals with these new i mean when when else do you get a new food exactly it's a yeah. new food exactly yeah you know it's kind of neat so speaking of new foods i think one of the peppers we're going to offer next year because you've been talking about is the shishito Ooh, pepper yum i think we're going to graft those and really offer them for sale mine got aphids really yeah so how's your uh, out of control tomato plant that's become a ground cover it's starting to dwindle okay I'm still getting a ton of production. still getting a lot of production i give i give a a bag of tomatoes away once a week and i still can't keep up with and how's the taste? Are they? Oh, they're still delicious. Yeah, everything's really good on that. You know what's funny though is that I st I caged, I caged my other Berkeley tie dye. Um, I had a fireworks, and one other tomato, and critters still get that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, so you know annoyed. what? They they really they're gonna find a way. Uh, it's almost impossible. I'm so annoyed. Hey, one of our listeners sent me a question during the week. Okay, uh, Lila. And she was asking the difference between Zone 9A and Zone 9B as far as putting plants in her yard and wondered if it was possible to have two zones in your yard. Now, now when you yes. say A and B, is that like a micro zone within yep. a zone? Exactly. Well, see, that was her question. And the, the main difference is she also then said that Sunset shows her as Zone 21. And the Sunset Western Garden zones, I think, for people in California, are really the best oh, yeah. uh, to use when you're trying to decide whether or not a plant is going to grow. So if you're in Zone 21, I would look it up in the Western Garden book, and if that plant says it's going to grow in Zone 21, go ahead. So what you're doing it. is you're, you're touting the accuracy of that magazine. Book. 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 Yeah, Sunset Western Garden book. Okay. But then we'll talk about the difference between 9A and 9B hey, when we come back Let's from the do break. that. I look forward to it as we approach 29 minutes after the hour. Actually, it is 29 minutes. Uh, we're approaching 30 minutes after the hour, to be more specific. Along with Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnascu, this is Garden America taking a break. When is a calculator more than a calculator? 
When it takes me from solving math problems to exploring the universe. Staples is your back-to-school destination. Find all the supplies and inspiration you need. Come in store this week for great deals under $1. Right now, Staples One Subject Notebooks are just $0.25 cents each, and Staples Composition Books, two pocket poly folders, and 24-pack Crayola crayons are just $0.50 cents each. Staples, back to school and beyond. In-store only ends 8 31 19. Limit 30 on notebooks, folders, and crayons while supplies last. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial Commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-605-5370. 800-605-5370. Call 800-605-5370. Have you heard about BizTV? BizTV is the home for America's entrepreneurs, small businesses, and those who want to succeed in life. It's the only national television network committed to airing original, high-quality, educational, and inspirational programming about real business people. BizTV can provide the right kind of ideas, motivation, and education to help fuel the next generation of business owners. Visit BizTV.com and call your satellite or cable service provider to request BizTV. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department of Education. These programs can reduce your interest, lower your payments, and possibly qualify you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in school, you may qualify for one of these programs. Call now to check your eligibility. Student loan advisors are standing by to help for these new programs. They can help you reduce your interest, lower your payment, and even forgive a portion of your student loan debt. Take control of your financial future. Make this free five-minute free call now to Nationwide Student Loans and learn how you can reduce your student loan debt. 800-439-1588 do you have an old car sitting in your driveway? How would you like to learn a hassle-free way to get rid of it, help kids in need, and get a great tax donation in the process? It's real easy. One simple free call to our car donation hotline is all it takes. Call the Nishama Foundation at 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. We'll come pick your car up for free and give you a tax donation for the full value of the car, running or not. The value of your unwanted car will go to help kids in need. It's fast and easy. Just call us and your car will be gone and on its way to helping children in 48 hours. And you get a nice tax deduction. Call the Nishama Foundation now to get rid of your car, help kids, and get a tax write-off. Call 800-721-6723. 800-721-6723. That's 800-721-6723. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer, and again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? low-cost airlines with one call to low-cost airlines you'll drastically slash your travel costs we're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations where would you like to go london rome costa rica australia wow that's cheap so why wait call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the u.s or international our prices are so low we can't publish them the only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airlines travel it's that easy so call now and start packing 800-217-5107 800-217-5107 800-217-5107 that's 800-217-5107 
Watch some of your favorite shows on BizTV. Check to see if you get BizTV by going to biztv.com. And now, Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Right here on Garden America, happy Saturday afternoon or Saturday morning, depending upon where you are. Again, we thank you for your support as we broadcast live from the iHeart uh, Radio and Media Headquarters, the entertainment headquarters of iHeart Media, San Diego, California. Yes, indeed, 855-424-9825, john at gardenamerica.com, Facebook, and your comments. Got a big week planned next week. You do. I do. I'm going to go on uh, Tuesday. I'm flying up to Santa Rosa. And uh, I am going to visit Greg Lowry uh, at Vintage Gardens, or what used to be Vintage Gardens. I think it still is. He's just not open commercially anymore. Well, the older it is, the more vintage it would be, right? Well, that's true. Uh, (laughs) But the goal is to go to the San Jose uh, Heritage Rose Garden uh, the next day and take a bunch of cuttings of roses, which we can then propagate send out to, um, I think I'm, I'm going to send most of them to Wisconsin. You're mad, aren't you? You're just... Uh... You know, I think that uh, I do have a problem. <laughs> it's okay, we're here I, to help. No, no, there, judge, no there, judgment. But there's worse problems, right? True. Right. True. Uh, I just need help. If you guys could help me, I think that, that I could get this job done. But no, so we're going to try to, try to um, get more roses for following auctions because, you know, this November... It's the 19th annual uh, Rare Rose Auction, the Save the Roses Auction. And I was talking to John and Becky Hook, and the roses that we originally got two years ago from Hungary are going to be ready for them to ship us from France. So, Oh, for this year? Uh, not for this year's auction, for 2020 auction. 2020, okay. Yeah, so that uh, I'm kind of excited because a lot of those roses – that will well most of those roses do not exist in the united states you know when we go on a trip next year we're going to be very close to the country of hungary so just thought i'd throw that in there as kind well, of a not, r- random thought what's worse than that for me is that on my number one on my bucket list is to visit the rose garden in zangerhausen germany and zangerhausen is the world's largest rose garden as far as the number of varieties they've got uh like eight or 9,000 different varieties of roses. We'll be close to Germany too, John. We'll be in Germany. Yeah. Uh, well, almost in Germany. Yeah, almost. Because uh, we'll end up in Prague, which is right next to Germany. So I, I'm still thinking, do I want to take a little side trip? So close and yet could be so far. It was originally going to be part of our tour. But Matthew explained to me, you know, Zangerhausen is just not on the way to anywhere. <laughs> he said it's just way out there. In the middle of nowhere, right? right? So he said it to me almost like, I can't, I don't see why anyone would want to go there. Instead of thinking, wow, yeah, I can understand why you'd want to go there. Well, he's not, he's not familiar with it, I don't think, John, right or not? I mean, because that's what you said, the largest yeah. in, in what, the world or the country? Or the world. The world, okay. The absolute well, world. Well, that's good reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to try to figure out how I'm going to do that. I may not do it, but if not, maybe the following year. Who knows? <laughs> I, so, I told you guys, I wanted to tell you guys just quickly that uh, we, was it two weeks ago we had on the Plumeria guy? Yeah. Yes. No. Was it two weeks last ago? Last week. Was it last, last week? Last week. Oh, wow. Anyway. Wow, how time flies. Yes. So <laughs> your, your, or it doesn't. Your point is? Well, my point was he said to... To water and fertilize plumeria heavily this time of year, which I went ahead and did, and um, I, and I, plumeria that have not leafed out in two years are now starting to leaf out. That's exciting. So I'm going to get, I think I'm going to hit them with some water soluble, which I never use. But what's the one you were telling me about? Uh, the one from Growmore. Yeah, the Hawaiian ha- Hawaiian blend. It's meant for yeah. hibiscus, plumeria. Uh, Hawaiian bud and bloom, was it called? Or her? That was Hawaiian blend. Maybe bud and bloom. 
All right. But, but anyway, before, I'm going to try that because it was you said it was 55 percent phosphorus. Yeah, which we normally don't need, and and I rarely use any water soluble. But I think I'm going to try that. Do you have any idea what? And before I forget, I want to remind you that before the break, we were going to be talking climate zones. Yeah. Oh, but, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I want to ask right. you: Do you even Thank know? You, do you even know what color these plumerias are? Because they haven't been leafed out for years. Do you They've remember? never bloomed. So you don't even know what you're going to get. No, except I do know that all except one I did not buy for the bloom. Okay. I bought them for the leaves. Oh, okay. Because one has got hot pink in the leaves and got another it. is marbled. And, and the one that's just starting to leaf out, I can't even remember what that is. Okay. But I do have one called, I think it's uh, Vishnu Gold that... It's got the most leaves so far and doing the best, and that one I bought because of the size of the flower. Uh-huh. I think it's a yellow flower, but uh, most blooms are what, like three inches? Two, uh, two no, to, two inches. I wouldn't say they're three usually that big. This one's supposed to be four to five wow. inches. Wow. So I'm in, interested to see that. Hopefully they'll yeah. bloom. I think in Southern California we have enough heat for the next three months. Yeah, lately yeah. at least. That... That you'll um, still get. I might, I might get some bloom. I don't know. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, back to zones. And yeah, clarifying nine, zones. Nine A, nine B, one A, one B. Yeah, you got to explain that one to me as well. One A, one B. Forget, because <laughs> <laughs> you're at the North Pole or the South Pole. But the difference in in those are USDA zones, which I think go from one to eleven. Is I don't think there's a 12. I think it's from 1 to 11, and 11 is the tropics. And the difference in those zones, like 9A and 9B, would be maybe like 5 degrees for the lowest temperature that it would hit. But the thing to remember on um, on those zones is that if it says it's hardy to zone 9B, let's say, and, in the, and 9B says that the temperature can hit uh, 35 degrees, that's only for a short time. Right. It's not, it can't be months at that temperature. Right. So I, I really think if you're in one of the western states to use the Western Garden Book and, okay. and use that as a direction, zone 9 or the USDA zones are just too broad for our specific microclimates. And like Lila was asking, you know, can I have two different zones in my backyard? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You find out, especially if you're growing tropics or subtropics, that there's parts of your yard where that might be higher, where something would live, but if you planted it at the lower part of your yard, it wouldn't. Or if cold air settles into that part of the yard. Sure. Or, you know, water even, you know, can settle in parts of the yard, soil differences. You just got to learn your yard. There's some things that will do well in other places. They won't. One thing I was going to mention with the breakdown in zones, too, between the A's and the B's, and they use this in the Western Garden book as well, is geographically they tend to use, like, for instance, nine. Geographically, it tends to be a similar area. It might mm-hmm. be, you know, 5,000 feet elevation, mountains, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But, like, what you're saying is that even though it's the same geographically, doesn't mean it's the same climate wise right. and that's where they break down the a and the b because you know it could be high desert but this area of the high deserts low is different than this area of the high so desert. they are micro micro zones within that zone well basically it's, and it's not even sometimes within the zone it's geographically so you know if you live in the mountains at five thousand feet right. Your area in the mountains at 5,000 feet is different than 20 miles away in these mountains at 5,000 feet because of different things like John mentioned. Maybe the wind comes through. Sure. Maybe there's more exposure, things like that, and therefore your your lows and your highs are different. And that's where people get confused with lows and highs and average temperatures because the zones give you the breakdown as far as what they think a plant can tolerate as a low and a high. But it's very different as far as what a plant can tolerate as a low and a high for a prolonged period yeah. of time. So, I mean, you know, for us in San Diego, whenever we get a three-day frost, you start to see things all throughout the community dying off. Mm-hmm. We can handle one day, yeah. you know, but we can't ever handle a three-day frost. That's when you start to see things really dying. 
So gotcha. Yeah. So so you yes, Lila, you can have those different zones within your yard. Yeah. As John mentioned. Yeah. And uh, as Tiger mentioned, geographically is where it really plays into to what uh, the different ways you can either grow something. But again, it goes back to prolonged periods of time. And you know, it's even more fun when it comes to like a blank slate where someone like John is being introduced to, is you can create different zones in your yard. Just by, you, by the way you, you landscape. Well, you plant that tree in that one area, boom, whole new zone whole, in your yep, yard exactly. 20 years later. Whether it's shade, whether it's cooling off the temperatures, right. whatever. Yeah, you can do that. 45 minutes after the hour, we are at that uh, point of the show where we have one more segment to go. And again, after today's show, we are going to be doing a podcast, which will be live here on Facebook. And of course, that podcast will be uploaded to our our podcast site. Uh, be sure to download the iHeartMedia app if you uh, uh, so desire. It's free. Then you can look for Garden America. Or in the newsletter, uh, John puts a link there. It takes you right to the podcast. Garden America continues right after this. Hi, this is Brian Main inviting you to join me along with John Begnasco and Tiger Palafox for a springtime garden adventure to Slovenia, Austria, and Prague. Our journey starts near the shores of Lake Bled, nestled in the lower Alps. Lake Bled is one of the prettiest spots on the planet. This is also our job off point to explore valleys bursting with wildflowers inside the Julian Alps National Park and so much more. For details and the complete itinerary, visit GardenAmerica.com or EarthboundExpeditions.com. Looking for a safe and natural organic fertilizer for your yard and garden? Fertilome is now offering natural and organic fertilizers for all your fertilizing needs. Roses, flowers, vegetables, herbs, fruit trees, palms, and more. Natural Guard organic fertilizers are a certified listed product for organic use and safe to use around your family and pets. Always read the label and ask for Natural Guard by Fertilome Organic Fertilizers at Dixie Line Lumber or your favorite independent nursery. Make your piece of the planet a healthier place to live by using Natural Guard by Fertilome. This message is sponsored by Ameriglide, featuring the nation's best prices on a home stair lift. Are you having a difficult time getting around your home? Do you avoid going up and down the stairs? Have you even considered moving from your lifelong home just to avoid the stairs? Forget about moving and call AmeriGlide and learn how an easy-to-install stair lift is the perfect solution to help you get your freedom back. Plus, we guarantee the nation's best prices. Make this free call today to learn more. No sales visits are necessary. We can help you over the phone. Now you can stay in the home you've been in for decades. Please do yourself or your loved one a favor. Make this simple two-minute call right now. Get the lowest price on a stair lift anywhere. Here's the number. 800-886-7342. 800-886-7342. 800-886-7342. That's 800-886-7342. Attention Iraq and Afghanistan veterans. If you use dual-ended combat arms earplugs and suffer hearing loss or tinnitus, you may be entitled to compensation. The manufacturer agreed to pay millions to settle allegations it sold defective earplugs to the military that were standard issue to soldiers deployed between 03 and 2015. If you served during those years, were issued combat arms earplugs, and suffer from hearing loss or tinnitus, call now. Call 800-410-9446. That's 800-410-9446. Before you sign the lease for your very own office, before you gave your two weeks notice, before you asked your parents for a loan, before you worked nights and weekends, there was a business plan that you put to paper. Staples has what your business needs to get you from here to there, all at great prices every day. And now a ream of Staples copy paper is just $3.49. That's our lowest price of the season. Staples, here we get you there. In store only ends 81019, valid on SKU 135855, while supplies last limit 10. Rates based on a man 42 with no tobacco use of any form for 20 years. Policy number 25, policy underwritten by various life insurance companies. Premium includes a $50 policy fee, rate and underwriting criteria, subject to change at any time, not available in some states. You've heard those term life insurance ads with their rates read very low, and at the end, they have a long disclaimer read extremely fast. Why? Because most people like us will never qualify for those rates. It's just a way to get you to call. Listen, at the term lifeline, we'll never quote you a low rate hoping you'll call, then try to sell you something else. But we do promise to get you the best rates available on policies of $500,000 or more with professional service. Don't waste your valuable time. Get the real rates you want on term life insurance policies of $500,000 or more from the Term Lifeline. Call now. 800-430-1891. 800-430-1891. 800-430-1891. That's 800-430-1891. 
That's 800-430-1891. It may have been a messy divorce that suddenly cut your income in half, but not your bills. It might have been an injury or illness or your boss just cutting back your hours. It doesn't really matter how you got in over your head. It only matters that you are and that we're here to help. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt and you can't ever see breaking free, then call Action Debt and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. One day late, they charge you a late fee. Miss a payment, they double your rate. You just don't think it's fair and neither do we. This is not bankruptcy or just a simple rate reduction plan. We fight for you using our proven experience in the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide. If you owe at least $10,000 to the credit card companies, you owe it to yourself to call Action Debt at 800-384-7099. Just because you got in over your head doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Call 800-384-7099 today and we can be on your side tomorrow. 800-384-7099. 800-384-7099. From Main Street to Wall Street, we have the business content you need. So sit back, take notes, and tell your friends about Biz Talk Radio. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. We are back here with our final segment on this Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, depending upon where you're watching or listening. And again, thank you, uh, Facebook Live. We do appreciate it. Uh, obviously, those on uh, BizTalk Radio streaming, thank you so much. John at GardenAmerica.com, Facebook Live, questions, comments. And uh, here we go with the last uh, 15 minutes or so, Tiger. Got a busy weekend ahead of you. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I planted a um, lemon tree, Eureka. Did you? Recently. I planted lemon tree this week. I planted an artichoke. I um, am going to be working on doing some house chores this weekend. Who's the artichoke eater in your house? Oh, we all are. Everybody. Yeah, the, we love artichokes. The kids, too? Yeah. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, no. I don't think I liked artichokes till I was like 30. Really? Oh, we loved them when we were kids. Yeah, we didn't. You know what? How do you eat them, though? Do you eat them with... Uh... I mix it up. So, butter. Yeah. Mayonnaise, yeah. kind of a sauce. And then also, sometimes we'll do it where you boil it. Cut it in half, little um, vinegar and oil, salt and pepper, and then you grill it. Hmm. Wow. What about the artichoke hearts? It's supposed to be the, oh, the, delicious. the meatiest, best part of the artichoke. It is the best part. You know, what, it is. you know what upsets me with that, though, is that it's the best part for a reason. It's hard to getting, get to. <laughs> getting to the heart and all the fuzzy... And then sometimes if you don't get all the fuzzy off yes. and you get the heart and you're enjoying it so much and then you get a little bit of yeah. fuzzy It, it in looks your like mouth. a sea anemone underwater. It's oh. got that look. But, yeah, when you get all the fuzzies off, that heart is just, oh, oh so, so good. good. I, probably because of the way I was raised. The best way I, I believe to eat an artichoke is with only olive oil and salt. Like do you to, have a bowl and you dip? You dip in then, the yeah. olive oil and the salt. Because olive oil brings out the flavor of certain vegetables. And it's kind of amazing. You would think it's something kids wouldn't like. But if you just take celery mm -hmm. and, or radishes even uh, and, yes. and cut them up into and sprinkle olive oil over them and salt, kids will eat those. Yeah? I've yeah. never had that. I'll try it's it. It's good. I, John mentioned it a few years ago, and I did it. It's, okay. it's good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, radishes was the, the main thing we had as kids uh, that way. And now at Christmas, when the family comes over, we'll, I'll make a little dish of uh, sliced radishes and then uh, put the olive oil and the salt over them. Okay. Yeah. I, I've done I've done the artichoke every way you've mentioned. Your way, John, the mayonnaise, yeah. the butter, the pepper, the olive oil. What's in the mayonnaise good? way, to me, is repulsive. <laughs> I just, you know what, though? I could put mayonnaise uh, on anything. Yeah. I am just a mayo freak on things that you shouldn't even put mayo on. I do, I do for the artichoke mayo, a little bit of lime juice, um, some cayenne pepper, and kind of mix that all in, kind of more for like a little more of a sauce. And then you chase thing. it with a tequila shot. Yeah, yeah exactly. right. Take a, take a bite of artichoke and then tequila shot. I remember about... 25 years ago that we went to a sandwich shop to order sandwiches and my son joe ordered a sandwich and and um, the waitress or the person taking the order was 
kind of surly. She must have got up on the wrong side of the bed that day. And, uh, you know, she's taken the order grudgingly. And, oh, <laughs> and then, then um, I, I think it was a turkey kind of, some kind of sandwich that my son ordered. And she said, do you want mayo on it? And he goes, <laughs> oh, no, that would make it much too moist and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Uh, I liked it. What was her reaction good, to that? Good sarcasm in the Big uh-huh. Nasco household, starting at a young age. Yeah, where'd he get that from? Yeah. That's a great answer, though. Yeah. Anyway. Joe, Joe and John are the same pe- person. It's, it's yeah. kind of true. Pretty much. <laughs> I, lo- I love that, that term, though. Get up on the wrong side of the bed. I, I love that. Just be careful where you get up. Yeah. Each Don't day it's different. It could be the right side. could be the wrong side. Where'd that come from? I don't know. That, uh, that's why I'm thinking in my mind, I love, I love to look back to see how, how expressions develop and where they come from. And what do you do you, if your bed's wait, against the wall? Hey, well, you know, what I, you know what I bet? You know what I, and, I'm, and I have no clue, but I'm throwing a shot But you're going to bet anyway. Go ahead. Right. Because you remember that they had bedpans? Yeah, they still have so them. So I'm sure that they had that on one side. And if you got up on the wrong side... You probably stepped into like a bedpan or something. I thought you kept that under the bed. Well, that's, but I, I don't know. Yeah, but I see where he's going yeah. with it. There, there's, there's. If you, had, if you got on the wrong side, that's what happened. That was a bad day. John, you can tell us the history of rule of thumb, can't you? It's not. A, I don't think it's a very, very ple- PC. pleasant PC history. But uh, rule of thumb was, was something about. Uh, they say hitting somebody or yeah with a stick no bigger than your thumb. Yeah. But then I heard that was defunct. I, I heard that that was not the case. But. Yes, that's not true. Not the case yeah. anymore. Okay, the praise uh, woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Dates dates back to ancient Rome. Wow, wow. really? And it was considered bad luck to get out of bed on the left side. Wow. And that was from the superstition back then that everything on the left was bad. Because left is bad, being left-handed is bad, all that. You want to be right. right-handed. Okay. Do you know what the Latin word for... Everything left is bad. You heard John say it. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you know what the Latin word for left is? Bad. Sinister. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. That's where we get our word sinister from. Wow. Left. Left. Sinister. Hmm. Yeah. Well, so there you go. Those people listening to the show thought they were going to hear plan information. (laughs) But, uh, see, we throw it all out there. We'll give you whatever you want. What else is he looking at here? He's looking at probably the uh, rule of thumb. Sean, is that what you're looking for, rule of thumb? No. No, I'm beyond that. I I, I don't think we need to talk about word entomology right now. So after the show, we do our podcast, we, gets, a, and we have a surprise for you yes. that are going to be sticking around. If you're going to watch the podcast, yeah. well, you'll you be surprised. you tell people what it's going to be, right? You don't think so? I think you should. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So um, the Palafox children. Your, your, your son and daughter. My son and daughter are going to join us in studio here, and we are going to talk to them about why kids like gardening. Get, so, get kind, of, kind of their get perspective the, get their on it, perspective. right? perspective. So... For those of you that are wondering, you have your own children, and you're yeah. like, how do I get them involved? They'll answer questions for you to get your kids involved. This is the, these are the things that you need to have kids do to encourage them to At garden. a young age. Yeah. And, and we should mention, too, let's set this up. Your daughter is how old? Eight. So she'll be, she'll be fine. Oh, yeah. And the Hulk, how old is the Hulk? <laughs> Four, and we'll, we're, we'll be lucky if he sits in studio. So, so Tiger has a leash. <laughs> And he just kind of yanks it. Yeah. So, hey, the music says uh, it is uh, time for us to say goodbye for right now, at least for this show. Stay tuned. Coming up in about five minutes or so, maybe ten minutes, our podcast. And, of course, that podcast will be uploaded uh, Monday or Tuesday for you to listen to again and again if you'd like to. Thank you so much to uh, Brandon, our director, studio coordinator, all the people at BizTalk Radio. For Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco, I'm Brian Main. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. If you're going to stick around, we'll see you on the podcast here coming up momentarily. Take care. Get growing, America. Listen on the go. Download the BizTalk Radio app. Available in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. BizTalk Radio. The opinions you hear on BizTalk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests.